welcome students now this is the second video of practical number 2b in the earlier video of practical number 2b we had seen the concept of function overloading the second concept which has been expected is what inheritance but i am not interested in doing this practical first i am interested in this video we will first of all try to complete the constructor overloading concept because it is parallel to the function overloading so what do you mean by the constructor overloading the constructor overload is a concept which is similar like a method overloading overloading a concept is the same name but different parameters right so what is constructor overloading it is the ability to redefine the constructor what is the constructor a constructor is a special method which get executed automatically as soon as an object of the class is been created or instantiated the name of the class and the name of the constructor is one and the same constructor never returns any value not even void right so please remember this uh, important point related with the constructor a user can implement constructor overloading by defining two or more constructors in a class sharing the same name c sharp distinguish the constructor with different signature that the constructor must have the same name but with different parameter list we can overload constructor in different ways either by different types of argument or by using different number of arguments or by using the order of argument so what is order of, order of argument suppose i am having a constructor which has the first parameter as float second parameter as int i am taking the one more constructor where the first parameter is int second parameter is float then that is also termed as overloading <coughs> C# provides various types of constructor like a default constructor we have something which is called as a parameterized constructor we have a concept called as a private constructor we have a concept called as a static constructor right so these are what the different types of constructor which are been provided by the c sharp now i am not going to explain all types of constructor in this video this video is restricted towards only the concept of constructor overloading but you must be knowing that the default constructor parameterized constructor private constructor and static constructor which is available in your c sharp program now let us uh, see the concept of your constructor overloading once again why we need a constructor we need a constructor so already a project has been created a program.cs has been developed you can see the earlier video practical number 2 b ka first video in that you can see how we had created this console based application okay so please refer to the earlier videos now i am moving ahead by creation of one class so i am creating one class named as a test what is the purpose of the constructor normally the constructor has been used for providing the initial activities to the uh, parameter or initial activities to the object of a class so initial values of the member variable must be assigned with the help of the constructor suppose i am trying to have two member variable x and y and i want whenever the object of the class test is been instantiated it is been created the value of x and y must be assigned so i create one constructor by providing test now here no parameters are given as no parameters are given this can be called as default constructor and i may be assign x equal to y equal to 10 so when i am creating a test class object without any value it means the value of x and y will be 10 i may be providing over here test in the bracket maybe i am providing int x comma y so it means what uh, when i am passing two parameters then a first parameter value has been passed to x second parameter value has been passed to y so what is been called as this dot x equal to x and this dot y equal to y at the class please remember that suppose i am writing over here a and b and then i need to write over here a x equal to a and y equal to b this is quite easy for you to understand but what will happen if suppose my parameter name and my member variable in name is same so you can't write like x equal to x so how can i tell that this x is a member variable or this x is a member variable so whenever you would like to specify the member variable we are using a keyword called as this 
सो सर्च इफ आई यूज ओवर हियर दिस दिस इज बीन ओके और नॉट आई जस्ट से लिखा तो भी चलेगा नहीं लिखा तो भी चलेगा पर यहां पे तो लिखना ही पड़ेगा बिकॉज यहां पे नेम का क्लैश हो रहा है दोनों नेम सेम है यहां पे नेम क्या रहे अब अलग अलग है एज द नेम्स आर डिफरेंट एज द नेम्स आर डिफरेंट यू राइट दिस और यू डोंट राइट दिस दैट विल नॉट क्रिएट एनी ट्रेवल आई मे बी क्रिएटिंग वन मोर कंस्ट्रक्टर ओवर बाय स्पेसिफाइंग टेस्ट सॉरी टेस्ट इन द ब्रैकेट मे बी आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग ए एंड देन आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग एक्स इक्वल टू वाई इक्वल टू ए सॉरी so the value of a has been assigned to x and y so simply you can see the test class consists of three constructor that means a class is having more than one constructor so what it is termed as it is termed as constructor overloading maybe i am creating one method over here as show which displays the value of x and y by saying console dot write line value of x plus x Again, I am providing console dot write line value of y plus y over here. Also, you are referring this dot x and this dot y is also been allowed. But name का clash हो नहीं रहा है ना name का clash जहाँ पे होगा वहाँ पे आपको member को access करने के लिए this use करना पड़े. Now I am just planning to create an object of test class by saying test t1 equal to new test and then I am calling t1 dot show. So when I am creating the object t1 at that time, what I am doing? I am trying to call the default constructor. When I am trying to call the default constructor, it will be trying to call over here the constructor. And now, if I try to run this particular program, you will find there is a error which is getting displayed. So why the error is getting displayed is simple here. Test dot test is inaccessible due to the protection level. You know that. In C sharp, everything is been protected or a private by default. So I need to make my constructor as public. So I'm just keeping my constructor as public, and then this error is getting resolved. So I just make it public. Fine. And now if I try to run my program, you can see the output is getting displayed as the value of x is ten, value of y is also ten, because I had mentioned over here x equal to y equal to ten. and i had called my default constructor i may be while creating an object might pass some value so you know that over here the 4434 will be passed to the member variable x and 345 has been passed to member variable y so ultimately you will find the value of x and value of y is the value which is assigned by you please concentrate when i am trying to create a object of this test class ye khud hi bolta hai one of three because the overloaded constructor hai बोलते हैं आपने डिफॉल्ट किया तो भी चलेगा आपने एक वैल्यू दिया तो भी चलेगा आपने दो वैल्यू दिया तो भी चले राइट सो यू कैन फाइंड दिस इज द वे बाय विच सपोज आई एम पासिंग 180 एटी नाउ एज ए सिंगल वैल्यू आई थिंक सो दिस इज नोन टू यू व्हाट विल हैपन इफ आई एम गोइंग टू पास ओवर इज वन एटी इट विल बी कंसिडर एक्स ऑल्सो वन एटी एंड वाई ऑल्सो एज वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी एर इज देर बिकॉज आई एड जस्ट मिस्ट आउट द समीकोलन सो आई एम जस्ट पासिंग द समीकोलन ओवर इ मेरा ध्यान नहीं था I run my program and you will find the output of x and y is 118, 180, right? So this is the simple concept called as constructor over loading. So constructor is a special method which name and the name of the class is one and the same. Constructor never returns any value, not even void, right? Constructor get executed automatically as soon as an object of the class is been. Create and a class can have more than one constructor, and this concept is termed as constructor over loading. So, class, stay tuned with us. Please subscribe the channel. We are coming with lot of new videos. Even if I am planning to come with the practical slips programs also, so stay tuned with the class for the same.